when you hear about ghosts or poltergeists, you probably know the kind of thing to expect. Objects moving by themselves, apparitions in old buildings. You're probably not expecting to hear about a talking mongoose. I mean, surely that could be nothing more than a work of fiction. And yet Jeff, a talking mongoose, made the news in the 1930s. This was the claim made by the Irving family, who claimed to have seen Jeff and had many interactions with him. The Irving family lived in a remote farmhouse on the Isle of Man. The Irving family consisted of James and Margaret and their daughter Vori. The event started with an unidentified scratching sound within the house. This also included rustling and other noises. The family initially thought this was nothing more than an animal that had gotten in behind their wall. But over time, the source of the noise began making a variety of other sounds that at times sounded like a dog and at other times a ferret. In an attempt to scare the animal away, James Irving made dog noises. Whatever the source of the noise was, it mimicked the sound back. As this continued, the family tried speaking to the unidentified creature. Well, it spoke back in English and introduced itself as Jeff and that he was a mongoose that was born in New Delhi, India. Not only did he talk, but later on Vori claimed to have seen Jeff and described his appearance as that of a small rat with yellowish fur and a large bushy tail. Jeff was described as many things, from an extra extra clever mongoose to an earthbound spirit, as well as a ghost in the form of a mongoose, and apparently Jeff himself once said, I am a freak, I have hands and I have feet, and if you saw me you'd faint. You'd be petrified, mummified, turned into stone or a pillar of salt. You may be wondering what this Jeff did with his spare time. Well, it was claimed that Jeff would travel around the Isle of Man by bus, although he was hidden from the other bus users. He apparently did this to learn gossip that he would later pass on to the Irvings. Jeff would also kill mice around the farmhouse, but apparently preferred not to kill them unless absolutely necessary. Furthermore, Jeff would tell the family if strangers or dogs were approaching the farm. The press began covering the events of Jeff and the Irvings, and his notoriety increased to the extent that people would make trips to the farm in an attempt to see Jeff for themselves. And it is claimed that other people did hear Jeff's voice or saw him, though no evidence exists to back these claims up. There do exist photos that are allegedly of Jeff, though these photos seem unconvincing. Skeptics believe that the voice of Jeff was nothing more than ventriloquism by Vori, and that the family just went along with it. There were investigations into the occurrences at the farmhouse, including by Harry Price, but it was never proven to be a hoax. After the death of James Irving, Vori and her mother left the farm. Later in life, Vori maintained that Jeff was not her creation, this is perhaps one of the most bizarre tales of the paranormal you'll hear, and that is perhaps why people still remember it. It is interesting to think that Vori maintained throughout her life that Jeff was real, and that it was taken seriously enough to have been investigated despite how silly it all sounded. The family did not profit from their claims, but as you'd expect, it attracted a lot of ridicule, so you have to wonder if it was a hoax, why on earth bother? Or was Vori responsible? Was she simply bored and started a story about a talking mongoose that got out of hand? What do you think happened here? I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, hit the like button or hit subscribe to see future videos.